What's up y'all, this is Nugget Noggin, and I'm back out on the river today, getting ready to do some more scuba diving. I have all my gear with me. I'm gonna have my metal detector. I've rigged this thing up so we can dive with it. Hopefully we'll get onto some awesome stuff. There's a possibility for gold rings and other old relics in this river. So let's get on under and see what we can find. Well, I just wanna drop down right here and work my way out. Okay.
These are all the finds. Found a lot of stuff. This is a nice face mask. These are Ron's finds over here. You've seen some of these earlier. You got this nice glass. Found a lot of locks down there. Check out that one. There's another one right there. Lots of bottles. This is an old Coke bottle from the 40s is a Pat D Coke has the date right there 1944 Pat D Coke this might be the oldest one oldest bottle of the day a few forks another coke bottle lots of fishing lures that's crazy got a top to like a Yeti cup find a lot of them here's that cool sign Very awesome. Beat up phone. I don't think that thing will ever work again. <laughs> Got a cool little fish finder here. Now, how did that get in the river? No telling. Now, when I found this phone, the case fell off of it. And Ron was able to save it for me. And check it out. It has a pocket. And there could be a driver's license or some money in there. Let's open it together. If I can. Oh! <laughs> That's not good. I may have to take a knife or something. And cut it open. Let's start by getting it off of here. Hello. It feels like there's something in it, y'all. It's either going to be a bunch of money or it's going to be dirt. All right, still can't get it open. We're trying to get inside. I pulled it off the back of the case. The zipper won't open. It broke off, so I want to see if I can open it with my knife. Try not to cut anything. Probably just going to cut through this. And uh, just like that. Cut it open. Their money. <gasps> I'll be able to get this back to them. 
get the phone back to him. Looks like we had some cash in there. Maybe a 10 on a or five. Uh, it's been in the river so long. That's all that's left of the cash. Wow. And there's like a little thing there, like a wristband for something. That was it. Crazy. So I also found this really nice insulator. Probably from the early 1900s. Pretty cool. It says New York on it. Brookfield. Has a little crack at the top, but still a keeper. And this thing here, I believe, it's some type of tracker for like a semi-truck. They would use these things to log their trips in different places they go because it says people net and I don't think that's a fish finder brand so definitely some type of electronics for a, a truck maybe to do deliveries and track their miles well that pretty much wraps up this video I really hope y'all enjoyed it did anybody get scared by those catfish <laughs> they scared me and the carp as well I mean, it's just crazy. You're scuba diving, there's all kinds of silt and debris in front of you, and all of a sudden you come up on a big fish, and it's just sitting right there, not even scared of you. So I'm definitely going to have to get back out there. There's so much more to be explored at that site. As you could tell from the video, there was just things littered all across the bottom of the river. So me and Ron are going to have to go back. If you like this video, please be sure to hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. And also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Be sure to hit the bell, and you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. Y'all have a great day. And God bless.